Hi Warhound fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And this is the Big Billy. <laughs> you will usually find it's him and Mishka. Um, Mishka's complete diva. I'm surprised actually, but she did go to bed only a little while ago, so, you know. Um, but yeah, fix up. Yep. Him. So without further ado, Dadu. Dadu. Can put... The Zivik away. Away, yeah. Right, go ahead. Right, yep. So, Vic's now away and snuggling up in bed. He is. And we just noticed that our hmm. heads are sort of reversed. And what I mean no, by that... No, Debbie's head's right. My, mine's the opposite way around. Because my, my, my image is normally well, reversed. I am now facing Darren. Yeah. He is actually on... The, op yes, my, the opposite side, that yeah. way. I'd reverse because you can see what the thing your, says, what the things say behind. Yeah, and which you normally can't. Darren, if you face me, that's the opposite way around because that's in the corner. Yeah. Mm. So if you face me, that's, yeah, that's backwards. Yeah. Mm. Right. So when you're facing me, yeah. Yeah. So yeah everything's our backwards. Heads when we swing one way, it's backwards. <laughs> Just a little bit for yeah. you. Anyway, guys. Right, so that the well, really, we start as always with word of the week. Word of the week, word of the week, boom, boom, word of the week, word of the week, boom, boom. You just love doing that, don't you? Yeah. Right, our word of this week is mucography. Now, I will warn you, I probably haven't said it correctly, and it is quite revolting. Mucography. So those who don't want to listen. Mucof mucography. Yeah, let's go, yeah. Right. The consumption of nasal mucus obtained from nose picking. Uh. <laughs> it's one of those things that if you see somebody doing it, it makes you feel slightly sick. Hmm. Knowing the name of it doesn't actually help matters. No. I did warn you. That's right. Ah, there we go. That's what it was. Got it now. It's all right. Now when I look at Debbie, I look that way. Yeah, yeah but I still look the wrong way. No, you don't. You look that your way's always that way. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Well, either way, my head's on the other way around. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Mm. So... What's it? And we will start... With... Come on. Sherlock, Sherlock puzzle. Today. Yay! Right, the Sherlock puzzle last week. I'm terrible. I think it was um. Uh, it should be. So can you get anything back for the empty bottle? Yes, the brandy's worth eighty pence more than the glass. There are of course twelve pence in the shilling, and it cost seven shillings. Yeah. How much is the bottle worth? Right. I am pulling my guess because I went for one pound one shilling. I knew it was wrong, and to be perfectly honest, I've just lost all. <laughs> What's it for that uh, one? It gave me an headache. Uh, it's tuppence. 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 Tuppence a bag. Tuppence. I'm pretty sure you could. Because uh, what it is. With that. Yeah, it's uh, twelve pence a shilling. It costs seven. Costs seven shillings. So that's seven times twelve is eighty-four, um, and it costs eighty pence more. So it's four p difference. So it's eighty-two p for the thing for the for the whiskey, and two p for the bottle because it costs eighty p more. Um, all right, what we got? Pink poodle. Yep. Sherlock, I hope is four pence. Seven times twelve equals eighty-four. Minus eight is four. Four. He was so close. Cause you got half. You got the bit each. That was, that was close. Pink people on the sea are a lot sharper than I am. This week. <laughs> Honestly, it was very close. <laughs> we don't know about this week yet. No. <laughs> but yeah. And what else we got? What else we got? We got Angela. The the answer would be eighty four pence. The cost is ninety four p. 94p? 7 times 12. No, 7 times 12 is 84. 
<laughs> but, <laughs> so, no, it was a little mistake, that was all. You get the first right, There's 80 pence. Right, I, mind you, you still get a point anyway. Cause yeah, you, you still you went in for it. Out. Yeah, that's I right. Is Angela However, at the moment for names in hat? I think so. However, Holmes did say brandy instead of whiskey, so there might not be an answer either, did he? Whiskey. Uh, join us with a glass of whiskey in front of us. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. He said, it should be, it's seven shillings. I went, can you get anything back for the empty bottle? Yes, the brandy's worth 80 pence more than the glass. <laughs> Oh, so it yeah. might be a trick of Rooney anyway. Let's have a look anyway. Well, well neither of us spotted that. No. I'm sorry about the plugging while I was... Whiskey, 7 shillings is 84p. If the whiskey is worth 80 pence more than the glass, then the glass is worth X. Then 80 plus X is the total value of the whiskey. And X plus 80 plus X is 84. So the glass is worth tuppence or two pence. Yeah. The whiskey one was a mistake that they made. I think so. <laughs> but the fact that Angela pulled it in some way, she is right with that because yes. it's not actually what the thing said. So mm. well done for. That's um, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, Gordon, then, so what is. This our... week's one is. Yep. Trilogy. Oh. Right. Miss Hudson's final shot after well uh, after well over a quarter of an hour is most battling details of her cousin Tracy's extended family was the strange fate of a loosely related in law. Cousin Tracy's husband's brother's cousin in law, father, cousin in law's father, to be precise. <laughs> brother's cousins brother's cousins is irrelevant anyway <laughs> um, to be precise this worthy whose name I didn't catch had apparently served in the Zulu War of 79 he had been exposed to some horrifying brutalities whilst out there and on his return was never quite the same <coughs> some years later as Mrs Hudson would have it the former soldier was at his parish church with wife and child as was usual on a Sunday. On this ill-fated occasion, he dozed... He doesn't... He, he doesn't off quietly. He dozed off quietly, falling into a terrible nightmare about being captured by the Zulus with the rest of his brigade. The Zulus began decapitating their prisoners one by one. In the dream, he was about to meet the same fate when his wife, realising her husband was asleep, tapped him on the back of the neck with her fan to wake him up. The sudden shock overwhelmed his already stressed system and he immediately dropped stone dead. This was the point at which Holmes rose from his seat and politely but forcefully thanked Miss Sudden for breakfast and ushered her out of our rooms. Closing the door behind her, Holmes muttered, blatant pitiful. He then in high dudgeon and moments later the sound of aggrieved violin playing filled the air. Why did Holmes disbelieve Miss Hudson? I know the answer to that, I think. I think I do as well. Yeah, I think I know what that one is as well. Until next week to find that out. Um, we have got right, the riddle from last week. Darren's riddle from last week. It's, you're in a dark room with a box of matches. Nearby, three things a candle, an oil lamp, and a log of firewood. What do you like first? The Debbie. The matches. Yep. Angela, Darren's riddle, you would like a match first. Mm -hmm. Poodle. The riddle is matched, because you need the match to light the candle and so on. Sure. Yep. And this week's one? Four, hole in two, right. three. What, what starts with P and ends with all, and is really popular in the movie industry? Yeah, I wrote that <laughs> down earlier. 
the riddle was and I've got it right, put it that way. Um, right. right. Yeah. Next is the caption of the week. So the caption of the week from last week is Caught even twice. Right, I've got a few of this. I've got, I use this one. <laughs> and then one I quite often say to my hamsters, the Russians anyway, no, 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 that's a good toot. <laughs> no, those tootsies. They took from tootsies. <laughs> um, and then I put, you know what they say about big feet? Big <laughs> carrots. <laughs> So that was last week. Yeah. What did we only have one. We only have pink poodle. Oh, well, she's usually but has pink, but pink poodle had quite a lot. A... Yeah. And we've got. You've heard of jam between the toes, but I got fur. <laughs> uh, oh, I heard of that actually. What toe jam? Oh, toe jam. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, yeah. uh, I don't know uh, where that, that came from. <laughs> I'm making the pom poms as fast as I can. <laughs> Oh, we've got the agency again. Oh, I like the agency. The agency asked me to audition for my left foot of a rabbit. <laughs> uh, I heard of cotton grows on trees, but never grown on rabbit feet. Oh, that's quite cute. <laughs> but it's plants. Cotton gr grows on plants, mm. not trees. I have watched so many films that have plantations in them. Mm. Uh, it's a nasty job, actually. It's really mm. rough on your fingers. Uh, Peter Rabbit, have you been changing pillows by any chance? What gave you that idea, Mum? <laughs> and, not fun. You heard of bum and belly button bluff. Now here's toe fluff. Reminds me of what Manan told me years ago. Oh. I just believed her. I did. I just believed her. Um, and so, um, she used to say that if a lady passed wind, it was bum dust. Bum dust, yes. <laughs> so for years, I assumed that it was bum dust. Mm. Right, Same so year. this bum week's... Dust. This, Same week's year. <laughs> yeah. this week's caption is... This. Darren's slacking. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough for that. They are very cute. <laughs> right, so now we're on to post it this week. Now, guys, I apologise. Yeah. But I haven't been to Tickety Boo this week, which meant Darren couldn't really do videos because he well, hasn't been too good. Darren's. I've got, one, I've got ones to put on the different bits, but... To, but the computer's been playing up and mm. then we had the fun of the broadband being changed and mm. the internet went down for a certain part of time, even though they say that it's going to cause you very little aggravation. It causes you very little aggravation. <laughs> yeah, one, one, of, one of them clo closed down before midnight and the other one didn't start until after midday the next day. <laughs> so, I mean, basically, Thing has been just a little bit this week, getting things out on time. Hmm. Um, but it's just the way it goes, really. Hmm. Uh, right, so posted this week, as I said, you've yep. got Spooky Socks September's Cop Box one. We oh, have. Yeah. And we did Craftiosity Create the Apron. So I finally did the Craftiosity one from that. Yep. I've I'm still technically two behind, although it is three because I have got the extra parts box that you guys know by now. Yeah. Uh, a bit with the, the spooky socks. We'll be, we'll be saying a bit about them on the second video. It's definitely worth it. Mm. Um, right. Um, we've still got, obviously, some in the foreground we've still got the same yeah. ones that we hadn't videoed last week and plus we've got think, plus we've got the occult box and fry's yeah. cauldron yeah so another couple of added to I mean. the car in that um so we are planning on trying to do as much as possible for next week anyway um 
Puzzle campaign commission. Yep, puzzle Amazing. completed. Yep, just the one. Mm -hmm. Campaign commission. And it shows like that. And afterwards, it was. Oh, I changed that. Sorry, guys. Right Three size. Uh, I look at life like that. What that problem? I, yeah. I quite liked that one, I must admit. Um. I'm on one of the moment that's sort of like a, a royal one, so I'm hoping to get that done next week. Um, right, TV and films. Uh, we've not got as many as last week, we've still got quite a few. Yeah. Um, now, after hearing about the Queen, obviously, mm. um, I, I was quite low and I couldn't settle on anything to start mm. off with at all. So I went on the crown. It's only the second time I've seen it through, and as my memories, <coughs> as my memories are falling, I watched seasons one to four. So obviously, yeah. oh, yeah. I've come back November. Yeah. Yeah. They paused filming in season series six. Yeah. Um, season six was the last one, but they, they said season to. five was the last one as well. And you might as well you up. might as well continue through to the end anyway, wouldn't you? So it's this is it. This is it. Um, right. So, yeah, I watched The Crown, as I said. Really yeah. recommend it. Fantastic. Yeah. And the people that play her, because you've got Claire Foy, I think it is. And the first bit, yeah. one of my favourite actresses, anyway, is. Olivia Carman. Yeah, thank you. It was the first time I was stuck on. Mm. She is fabulous. Yeah. I still remember. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to about from Green Wing. Yeah, yeah so I forgot. She had a kid in it, and she was a secretary. And she'd do things like she, she'd be so big, she'd forget to put her skirt on and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> it, it is. I mean, um. Leave the kids in the car. She gets a full drop of the soul. With um, a cardigan that's got a little felt animal stuff all over it, and you can find <laughs> out that they. Fuzzy felt from their film. Mm. So, the one coming out in November has got um, uh, the one who played Chris Sunbridge. Yes. Uh, 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 that's it. Yeah. I can't deal with um, old ladies in the past. Yeah. 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 Then we went on to films, so we watched National Treasure yep. and National Treasure 2. Yeah. Both fabulous films in their own right. I absolutely yep. love them. And coming soon, you've got National Treasure the TV series on Disney Plus. Which we're really looking to as well. Yep. Right. Um, then after National Treasure, I was sort of thinking, I don't know what to go on to. I had I had a bit of legend to come up on Netflix and I thought, yeah. yeah okay. So then I watched Legend. Yeah. Um, which is the some Cray Twins. Yeah. And it's got my favourite line from the film in there. Because because they're they're um gonna have a big fight. Ronnie you guys out mm. and leave, leave Reggie in there. And Ronnie comes back in. Out of hammers behind the ball, come out of yeah, the pub. And he said, they said, Before we start, I said, well, I'll tell you a joke. Paranormal schizophrenic walks into a bar. <laughs> and he smacks, suddenly starts smacking him with a hammer. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, like most things, including like my hobbies and that, I get quite obsessional. Hmm. I mean, ask Darren, I can be with him at the best of times. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like you leaving the room either, so you know, yeah. I don't mind him leaving the room, obviously, but I'd like to know where he is. Mm. I don't already know. Anyway, so that led me on to The Rise of the Christ. Yep. Which, if you haven't seen, they're very seen, good actually. They are they're, good. Low, they're lower budget and they are you know, by lesser known actors, and but they, they are, are very good. By the days, um, He's very. Yeah. I can't stop looking at. He's got one of those faces that is 
incredibly expressional, if hmm. you see what I mean. But I find the same thing with David Tennant and hmm. Harry that used to be in Silent Witness and Wolf that was in Sex Trips. Hmm. He does look quite similar to Wolf. He does, you know, yeah. He, yeah. He's um, also in lots of different things as well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and they can play a lot of parts, hmm. to be fair. Um, then, of course, I went on to the Fall of the Craze. Yeah, oh, yeah. Which is, yeah, which is also the same. Same actor. Same actors, Sorry, just I different parts. Sorry, I didn't know you were doing them as two different things. Yeah. Then I went on to my favourite one out of all of them, which is the, the original craze. one called The Craze. Yeah, with uh, Martin uh, Kemp. Kemp Twins, yeah. Or Kemp, Kemp I mean, yes, I, we, but, yeah. we went and saw a show at a theatre, didn't we? Yeah. And he was sat a couple of rows. Um, Martin Kemp was yeah. Martin Kemp. Um, a couple of rows ahead of us, and over to. Well, that side isn't. Yeah, hmm. the opposite side is what I'm pointing now. Basically, yeah. um, diagonally down, and he had on um, quite. A um, great teacher, and he was eating Solera. And honestly, I always find it difficult to concentrate on the play thing because he, honest, if anybody wants him to do a lollipop pad, I'd suggest it because yeah. it was he's absolutely the one, he's one who's good. left the post. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he was, I mean. It's quite weird when you see people that you've seen on telly in front of you. It's quite <laughs> huge. I did not go up to him because you know, I know I know people like to I know some people like um think that you know if you're in the public eye then you should be prepared. Hmm. He was with his family, you know, right. I'm not gonna I didn't do any stage whispers either. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Right. Uh, then we went on to Constantine. We did it's good it is a good film it it's good. didn't hold me as well as it usually does whether it's just i was in the mood or what have you but it is a really good film it is i, I do prefer the tv series though yes i fully agree with that because matt, matt ryan is more like it was actually but when we really coming through. the tv series again because we've only actually seen it once before so yeah when we watch it again we'll give you a review like, you like on these now. Then we went on to the Da Vinci Code. Yeah. I do like Tom Hanks as an actor, I must admit. Yeah. Um, then Angels and Demons. Yeah. And then we finished it off with Inferno on that one. Yeah. So basically it's all the... Yeah. The, know, da, Vinci, da Vinci Code ones. Yeah. I can't remember what his name is, in it? No. Yeah, it's, it's this one. Name. Yeah. So it's... Um, right, then we went on to Sahara, because we thought it looked really quite yeah, good. Yeah, Adventure is a new destination in Sahara. We watched it for, for three quarters of an hour, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it was just over two hours long. And it was like, oh, I really? can't actually remember what it was in the back. I was bored. Yeah. It, it, didn't have, it didn't have a great... Oh, it didn't have a great movement either, which has sort of happened. Mm. He he was half he was half the treasurer, and she was from the World Health Organization. And yeah, it's like it what? Well, they they didn't even get in any way whatsoever. It was sort of. It isn't an unpopular film. It's just we didn't really no. sell on it. And then we watched Tomb Raider. Yep. And Tomb Raider 2. Yeah. I love Angelina Jolie. I, yeah. I think she's great. And she was that part. Darren and yeah. I were talking about it That's the other right. day. Um, but yeah, really so good. the next one we've got, we've still got the, the newer one they did. Apparently, they haven't got a second one going on with the same woman who did one, the newest one. Because apparently, they had until uh, MGM Studios had until May this year. To green light a project, and yeah. they didn't, so it's gone up for auction. And there's there are several different big blockbuster companies vying for it, so should still be another one, but it just won't be one with her in it, right? 
now we're on to the weird and wonderful. Okay. So guys, yeah. we have got our three fashion dresses. Yeah. So there's one. It's probably my favourite out of them. It's very pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, I like that, that better. That is lovely as well. I like that better. That I can see all dreams yeah. burning. It's a fairy, fairy sort of quality to it. Yeah, although I couldn't um, imagine Alice from Twilight in it, and she's quite elfly. I mean, that she is, only in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman. Hmm. Right. And? That I could see her in. It's got a lame shade. <laughs> That's a bit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Different. Yeah. I like those. Though. I love them um, showing up like different dresses and that, as you guys know. Mm. And yeah, I just thought that was lovely. Mm. Right, now then, everything everywhere has been Queen Elizabeth. Now, the only thing, there's only two occasions other than. Well, this is one occasion, but there's only two occasions I'm mentioning her on these. And the first one is I had to do a cake one. I love doing cake one, so I did um, obtain a picture of Queen Elizabeth's wedding cake. It's actually a re reproduction that was done. Now, I've got a few interesting bits about this because let's face it, it's cake. We want to know about <laughs> cake. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh enjoyed a nine foot tall wedding cake. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and that's not in 1947, but several slices later travelled round the world. 1947? Let's see what my mum was on. It was made by McVitie and Price. Now, I don't know if that's anything to do with McVitie's biscuits, but not no, quite. I don't think it is. Wouldn't have thought so. No. Um, from ingredients received from the Australian Girl Guides, the royal couples ran cake weighed five hundred pounds and Bloody hell. forty years. Jesus Christ, five hundred pounds. One one layer was kept until the christening of Prince Charles, and another was sent to Australia by way of thanks. Now it is been said to reveal that another slice was also sent to Nigeria. Um, there is a reason, yeah, it was nicknamed the 10,000 mile wedding cake because oh, of the, as it, traveled. Yeah, it was, um, as I say, the fruit from Australia, dried fruit was from Australia, and it was preserved, oh. it was preserved with rum and brandy oh. from South Africa. So, yeah, it did. The ingredients certainly took on a, hmm. a distance, didn't it? Just a little, yeah. Yeah. Right, so. Stunning cake. There you go. Right, so our next bit <laughs> is... Passiflora at La Alata. I apologise if I pronounce any of these wrong, I always do, so, you know. <coughs> the, the winged stem passion fruit flower is a species of flowering plant. It's an evergreen vine growing to six metres or more, which bears an edible type of passion fruit. Oh, it's right. native to the Amazon from Peru to eastern Brazil. Hmm. So, you know, I mean, it does look beautiful, doesn't it? It's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's the swirls inside. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, I actually found a plant I wanted to put on here as well. It's yep. called the elephant ear plant. <coughs> that is a big leaf. <laughs> Colicos cassia, in, and it's in Louisiana. All right. But yeah, they're elusive. Just a little, with yeah. Snails and that, I'd have one day with that. <laughs> one, one leaf would take a, yeah. a, whole, a whole family forever. Yeah. <laughs> right, now we're on to our 
animal shaming. Ooh. So what ones have we got this week? Okay. Well, I made my damn, damn jump when I farted while I was watching a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's that's that that taking his embarrassment out on you actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so was it you, really, that created yeah, sure. the loud noise, or yeah, was it Dad? Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. <laughs> right, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. I need puzzle pieces. <laughs> now, I love dogs. I'm, I'm more of a cat and hamster person, but I do love dogs. Um, especially I've got favourite breeds and things, but I do love them. Um, he wouldn't be welcome in my home. No, <laughs> I've already got <coughs> hamsters that try and pouch the blooming things or nibble on them, so the last <laughs> thing I want is a dog that actually eats them. Right, so what's the last one in that bit? Right, so, and this one is all uh, $184 Samsung Galaxy S4 off, off of Amazon using one click button. Oh, he did? Yes. Oh, I turned off the internet, but long before his purchase went through. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they want their own phone. <laughs> Just saying. Just but, saying. <laughs> yeah. It seems like an obvious thing to me. <laughs> right, so. What next? Oh! It is a car. a car from the Han Henry Ford Museum. Yeah, it's it's been yeah blown apart. So you can see all the I can't think. It's, it's like an expanded expanded diagram, and they go where everything blows out of it. It's like you can see how each piece fits together, basically. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah. But I just thought that was amazing. It's the weirdest puppet I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so next. Ooh. Hen uh, no, I've done it again. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. It's a 200 year old wisteria tree that's yeah. in Japan. I just, I just think it's gorgeous. Yeah. It right. is. So our next read. <laughs> now the reason you've got the cute little my favourite gift ever is because <laughs> these are excellent reasons to give pets boring human names. <laughs> One, see how long it takes co-workers to realise that you're talking about a pet and not a significant other. Yeah. Dave and I were watching a movie in bed the other night. <laughs> or about a kid. Maria's not allowed to eat raisins, she's allergic. <laughs> then you've got, you can use them as an excuse. Taylor hates it when I get home late. <laughs> I'm just saying, people, if you live on your own and you've got like a cat or fish at home with Gordon or something, yeah. you could actually try using that. Um, and then number three, which I think oh. is the final one, I'm getting the gonks that, so you can't do the bonks, mate. Yeah. I'll explain that in a minute. Yeah. Um, right, eventually you say things like, Jennifer got stuck between the wall and the refrigerator again. <laughs> now, I love that idea. I mean, but it sort of feels quite like... Um, one from Grace and Favors. You've been. Are you being served? Yeah. And where she goes on about a, a pussy all the time. Yeah. It's that sort of bit. But I just, I just saw that and I thought, oh yeah, that's that's good. My friends, then uh, uh, different bands he was in. He was in these you know, record, record label bits. I worked down. But he, um, it was always one of a cat called Trevor. So you yeah. have it if you have it like that, you'd be able to call it like Trevor, 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 Trevor. I think the strangest one I've heard was uh, we go over to do at lunchtime. Um, this was when I was back working 
a long time ago. Um, but I'd go into it and the chap in there that served us quite often, um, he had a house to call Sophie. <laughs> she was male. She was male, yeah. But did she associate as female? I have no idea. Mm. Um, but the point is that <laughs> it it was well before there wasn't a thing like yeah. that. I mean, this is yeah. back we're in the day when things... We're a, we're a female budgie called Peter. Yeah, but they changed sex budgies. Yeah. We had one that changed from... Yeah, because the colour having nose changes. A girl. Yeah. Was it a girl to a boy? I can't remember. Mm. Either way. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, the the boinking against glass you hear are our glass cabinets. And where we cleared some bits out of the way, the hamsters can now get to it with their balls. So I've had to order a draft excluder. And you guessed it, it, it has box. Hmm. Right, now then, this next one is... Yeah. Do you remember George Jetson? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, you can read it. Yeah, George Jetson was 40 year old dad in 2062. Mm -hmm. That means he was born this year. Yeah. So <laughs> it means we should all be applying cars by then. Hmm. Also, if your surname is Jetson, but if and I'm you're a matey, carrying a boy, remember call the it name George. Yeah. Yeah. Call it is George. Yeah. Just so. Yeah. Yeah, there are okay. flying cars. I'm on 89. Yeah. Right, now this is something I think everybody should do. Mm. Oh, yeah. Rose was still off. What year is it? When someone answers, you know, it worked. Run right out cheering. So <laughs> we can all pretend to be Doc Brown, basically. So, yeah. you know, I think you need slightly mad hair to just get away with <laughs> being a bit kooky, but you know. Right, now then little bit of class for you I yep. have got a sewing set <gasps> Damn, you couldn't use it it's gold it, the late 19th century yeah I mean these days you get little tiny little scissors still but they're plastic handles and they've got tiny little mm -hmm. things that don't really cut and your, your thimbles quite often are plastic and too small rather than metal mm. I can honestly say I'd be very surprised though if that cost anywhere near the life of the ones I'm describing. No, that's right, yeah. That's a bit of a flashy one that you really wouldn't want to take in your travel case just in case it went missing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now then. This is taken from something. Um, somebody said we should tile the kitchen backsplash. Yeah. I actually found that at the same bath you did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. after. Yeah. Um, and someone else replied, say no more, I've got the perfect idea. So, oh. guys, we I've condensed some pictures down. So this, obviously, you've got the kitchen cupboards and the backsplash is on the back wall. Yeah. If you can't see it very well, however, yeah. that probably hasn't helped you very much. No, of course, I just got out of the bottom. That's right. Yeah. So, I went one further. Yeah. It's obviously it's all blurry because I've it's zoomed only a in. Five picture, yeah. But how cool is that? Yeah. You'd sort of, it doesn't really go with the cabinets. No, you'd expect some sort of some older looking stars or gothic sort of arrangements for that, yeah, wouldn't you? This is it. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really go with the cabinets, but mm. my god it's cool. Yep. Like that. Mm. Right, so now we we're got... going on for a bit of nostalgia. Um, Come with a frog. Right, so we've got this place was one a wonderful centre for puppetry artists. Sorry, I'll stop that again. This place was a wonderful centre for puppetry arts in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. There are a non-profit museum supporting Jim Henson's work. Now, Jim Henson is incredible the work he was he, he yeah. was incredible yeah. the, the puppets and that he made were fantabulous so these are a few <laughs> you might remember from your childhood yeah. Tragic enough the same friend i said about with trevor 
Thank you. Hey, um, he um, wrote his works on Muppet Show. Mm. And the Muppet Show was filmed in London. And he, he was a little kid and he could take him around there. Oh, and a, a, no, apparently didn't. He was in tears because they were all oh, hanging up. Because they were all hanging no. up, and he thought they died. Oh, how traumatic! <laughs> but no, right. So Darren said we've got Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> now this next one we didn't recognise, but no. it was. Do you remember what it was? Mm. I didn't note it down. Something Galaxy. Something future, future one thousand or something. Five thousand or something. I can't remember. Yeah, I mean we we zoomed in and looked it up and we found it and I stupidly didn't write it down because that would have been highly sensible, wouldn't it? Yeah. But hey ho, I'm sure that some of you know. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next. You've got hello. Oh, he's, he's missing his hair. He's missing he? his. He's missing he's his, missing he's his, missing his tufts. Rustle. Yeah, yeah, it's tufts of hair. Hello. He's <laughs> yeah. the worm from Labyrinth. Yeah. Um, when you first came, he is just so cute. He is absolutely gorgeous. As Darren said, you know, he is missing his hair, but then by rights he would be, of course, yeah. because of the length of time. I mean, it's probably died or fallen I'm out. I'm surprised he's in that. I'm surprised he's in that good neck. So am I. Because rubber would perish in bits, wouldn't it? Silicon over now, this, this next one is truly incredible. <laughs> Oh yes. She is the witch that is in the Dark Crystal. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, he's he's he was just incredible. Being yeah. up here. So I'd love to go and see this place. I yeah. really would. Right, so the next one. Cast your cares away. So Yay! Uncle Travelling Matt with the Tash, like you and... know. Gobo. Gobo. Oh, Gobo. Well, Wem it's Wembley. It's Wembley. It's Wembley. Yeah. That is. Oh, for heaven's sake. Gobo. Gobo was a red one. Yes, it was. You're right. Yeah. Now you see... Gobo, monkey, Wembley, boomer, red. That's right. Well done. Wahi. Woo. Ba, 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 Oh, you've got... In fact, you've got me Wembley. No, you haven't. No, you've got... No, um, I am denied. You've got um, Gobo up there, haven't you? Hang on, Pan Pan. We'll yeah. get you out in a minute. Wait a minute. Right, so who have we got? What have we got next? I think it's more freckles. No, no it's not. It's no, Sesame it's Street. Sesame Street. It's Bert and Ernie. Love Bert and Ernie. <laughs> and? And? Ah. They're my favourite. I love the doozers. Yeah. Um, they make all these clear scaffolding and the fraggles eat them. Yeah. But the, the scaffolding, not, yeah, the, the, not them. Yeah, they don't eat the doozers. They eat no. the scaffolding. Yeah. But yeah, I I just I just love them. Mm. Right, so what have we got next, my sausage? Oh, you've got an owl mask. I have. There's it. three pictures of this. I just saw it. Um, finished painting owl mask, designed in a Z brush, and printed on any cube M3 Max. Now. I'm presuming this will mean something. For yeah, somebody. I'm, guess, I'm guessing. It, I'm guessing it's it, printed on a 3D printer. But it, it reminds a, me of um, ah, oh, Gotham. You've got the some, something of the League of Owls. Yes. Or something. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. So we've got um three pictures. This is obviously number one of it. Yeah. And now we've number got two. Side view. Yeah. And a top and that's down. From the top of his head. Yeah. Now I actually took these as screenshots from a video, so be impressed, people. I'm telling you. <laughs> right now, then I've got right. um, a bit of a new segment, really, sort of. Um, it's house finds. So you know when people new move into new houses and they renovate a bit, it's like that. But all sorts of things have been found. Um. Whoever made this Monopoly board floor was yeah. very serious about the board game. But to be honest, that is very creative and we're a little jealous. Can you imagine how cool it would be to play life-size Monopoly with your friends? Yeah. We're hoping whoever found this floor kept it like this. But yeah, yeah they took up... Um, I can't tell you where it was, like, because it hasn't got any, no, no, it hasn't no, got, no, hasn't got any house names in it. No. 
they ain't got any right street names. No. Because that would sure normally they. tell you what country that's it was it from. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, somebody is... Yeah, someone actually, actually spent the time. Do that. I just you would actually have to have a square amazing. room as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does look like it's done on a rectangle, bit, to be honest, but, mm. you know, I just thought it was wicked. Yeah. Um, right, this next one is... My granny found an antique two-and-a-half-dollar coin. Yep. Such a cool find. These two-and-a-half-dollar coins are actually made of gold and were in circulation between 1908 and 1929. If you show the back as well there we go oh, yeah. uh nowadays they're sold as antiques for around 275 dollars and yeah. judging by the necklace and locket this person's granny also knew it was valuable as jewelry oh yeah right so another item found was found a 1929 library card while remodeling our house this old library card was found by a couple that just moved into their house and was remodelling their office. They said the card was stuck in their wall trim. If you're wondering, this card belonged to Hazel Postlewaite, who, hope, who we hoped has already settled her four cent de debt sorry, at the public library in Denver. <laughs> I love quirky bits like this. Um, I've got... <laughs> a few different ones for you obviously down the line but yeah. you know right guys that leaves us with the queen uh -huh. now this is the last segment of this bit so if you're fed up with queen facts yeah. and what have you you can, you can go to part two, to part two. <laughs> yeah. 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 but i just wanted to tell you a couple of things um i've been asking what well, asking google sort of weird questions and what <coughs> um from a young child queen elizabeth had a jam penny every day which she or i is called a jam sandwich but that's mm. what they called it in the nursery and um yeah so if you want to live till 96 that might be the way to go <laughs> however the jam she used was um a homemade preserve from one of their estates i know that much mm. and strawberry yeah um the other thing well a couple of other things uh she has never had to have a passport or a driver's license because no. they are issued in her name yeah so therefore she's never needed one and yeah. also I was gonna say, so if you've got any ID, she pulls a 20 pound note <laughs> yeah. also um all of her corgis um down the line i think the only difference were um two that were bought from her, for her from andrew and fergie hmm. or her granddaughter eugenie hmm. or one of them anyway yeah. um but they they um all of her corgis have come from her first ever corgi called susan um when she was 18 she was gifted susan and she she, they they bred them down the line and then later on in life um a few years ago in fact uh the queen didn't want to carry on breeding because she didn't want to leave any dogs behind if she could help it at one stage she had i think it was over 30 dogs yeah. um i might have read that wrong been she produced i don't know but either way um so yeah i mean i i just think it's terribly sad because that sort of let go of a whole bloodline and she had <coughs> left four dogs <coughs> on her death one a cocker spaniel one a doggy which was a cross between a, a corgi, corgi and a dash hound um her original corgi or doggy sorry was as I said before, um, the corgi side was down from uh, Susan, her first dog, so bred down, and her sister Margaret had a dash hound, so Princess Margaret's dash hound and their dog produced doggies, which were the Queen's breed. She also um, <coughs> bred quite... Um, 
indict well not indict but like rare horses. But she she was incredible with animals and outdoors and you know, incredible lady. Hmm. Um so yeah, really gonna miss having her around actually. Hmm. She's always been there in the background. Hmm. Anyway guys, so we will see you in part two. Yep. Um This is the end of part the, one. The, Yay. Yep, this is the end of part <laughs> one. Uh the Queen, as I said, we've we've covered the bits we wanted to cover with little yep. facty bits. So in part two we're gonna start off with our medical facts. Yep. So Got miracle facts, Darren's bits and all fan stuff. Yep. Okay. So see you then guys. See you then. Bye. Bye.